Hi everyone, this is Christy Taylor. Today I'd like to show you how I created this bottle. I love the way this bottle turned out with the awesome Relics and Artifacts piece by Sandra Evertson. It's the perfect complement to this great gothic style bottle. This bottle actually began its life as a whiskey bottle. Look at that. Bird dog chocolate whiskey. Yum yum. Stuff's really good with root beer. But anyway, I wanted to transform it into some sort of art. So I got started by using some matte medium. Now this little bottle of matte medium I've had in my stash for a while, so you can see that it's it's rather thick. Um, and a piece of an old curtain. And I began the project thinking I was going to do it in neutrals and whites, you know, kind of a shabby chic with maybe a hint of pink. So you can see in the upper left hand corner there, there's a pile of ribbons and laces and stuff that I have pulled out. Um, as I got started on the bottle, I decided that there's plenty of people who do shabby chic and they probably do it way better than me. And it's really not my style, so I'm really trying to stay true to my style and do things that I feel like I'm good at and things that make me happy. So here you can see I'm starting out with the lace. I used the matte medium to adhere it to the bottle. And at this point I'm still thinking, you know, white, maybe some blingy lace and some pink flowers, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, so I'm just going with layers of lace and matte medium and sticking it all down. Using my scissors to trim it around the bottom so it has a place to sit. And I trimmed it at the top here as you can see. I'm a little off camera there. I'm still perfecting my camera skills. You know, I still have a little ways to go on that kind of a learning curve. And uh, just rubbing the matte medium into the lace to help it adhere to the bottle. It took quite a bit more of the matte medium than I thought it would to, to get it all to stick nicely. Um, after that, rub some more matte medium over top and then I used my heat tool to dry it. Now it's all dry and I'm going to give it a nice coat of gesso. Um, like I said before, I was still thinking white, you know, shabby chic maybe some white glitter then I decided I needed some more texture so I used some um, gauze out of the first aid kit and stuck it down with gesso Lots and lots of gesso. Just keep painting it until all the gauze is stuck. Once it was in place and it was dry, or once it was in place, I then used my heat tool to dry it. And then while I had the gesso out, I went ahead and painted my chipboard pieces. Now that little frame there, I had actually repurposed from another project that I didn't like the completed project. And uh, so just reusing that little chipboard frame. At this point is when the bottle decided it did not want to be shabby chic. Uh, this is some black gesso and I just coated the entire bottle in gesso and also the chipboard pieces. 
This is when the bottle took on its own character. And while the black gesso was wet, I used some uh, Piccolo embossing powder from Globe Crafted Piccolo. Uh, they have really awesome embossing powder with great texture and lots and lots of shimmer. See that multi-purpose use of the relics and artifacts packaging there. Now I'm just sprinkling the embossing powder all over the wet gesso that's on the bottle and I'm using my heat tool to melt the embossing powder. It's like magic. This is a uh, dauber that has uh, embossing ink in it. It's awesome for mixed media projects because the ink is so thick. And you can just dab it on where you want it. Sprinkle on some more embossing powder. and then heat it with the heat tool to melt the powder. Now you see this was the next day the lighting has changed. It got late that night and I was tired so I came back to it and looked at things a little differently and decided that you really couldn't see the chipboard pieces if they were the same color as the bottle. So I decided they needed to be black. And I'm also painting my heart black and the flame as well as the sword. Let's try to decide if it was going to go on top of the heart. I decided it wasn't. Here I'm just rubbing some more of that embossing ink on the inside of the frame and then while that's nice and wet I'm going to coat the inside of the frame with some uh, Pearl X powder. And then if we just kind of hit that really good with the heat tool the embossing ink will dry and the Pearl X powder will be stuck inside the ink. I'm just painting the flame with the uh, embossing ink and then laying on a nice thick coat of the red Prolex. And then you'll see me hit it with the heat tool to set it into the ink. And I'm also going to do the same thing to the heart. Just a nice thick coat. I had put a um, little chipboard heart on the front of the relic piece and you'll see that I'm going to leave that black so that it shows up better. Dabbing in a nice thick coat of the Prolex. Now I'm gluing my chipboard pieces on. You can see that I added some black velvet there around the bottle. And uh, the velvet and the little lace pieces at the top of the bottle came from May Art's ribbon. She has awesome ribbon. Like anything you could ever want. And I'm just gluing on the sword. I'm 
holding it in place for a minute so it can dry. And next will be our relic. I love these relics. I really got to get some more. Um, all I bought were the hearts to begin with because it was right before Valentine's Day. But now I've quickly realized that these are going to be a staple in my stash and I need one of everything, if not more. I just hit that with a little seal it. Uh, yeah, don't do that inside. That was kind of silly. <laughs> and I'm trying to use some hot glue here to glue this, some feet onto the jar, but it didn't really work really well. And then after the video was over, I had to go back and use some E6000 to hold it. Look at my colorful hands. Next, I'm just adding some filigree pieces from Vintage to the front of the bottle. Just to give a little more of that gothic feel to it. And I'm adding some rhinestone ribbon from Mayart around the top of the bottle. Then I decided I really wanted my heart to be broken. Now, I did try to break the relic with a hammer. Yeah, these things are really sturdy and it did not want to break. So, I decided that I would make a faux break. So, I used some hot glue to draw a little, you know, broken area. And then painted it with black paint. And did the same thing the other way. And I painted around the little chipboard piece that I had added to make that show up a little better. And then I decided it needed to be chained as well. So hot glue to the rescue again and I added some black chain across the heart. Now I didn't realize it, but my camera had stopped recording and after I added this chain and the butterfly, I decided that it needed more chain. It needed to be, it needed more. So I added some big chain and you'll see that in the final photographs. And I'm really happy with the way this came out. It is beautiful in person. And these relics and artifacts are so fun to work with and so inspiring. I call this piece Hope in the Darkness. The heart is all chained up and protected from everything, but the butterfly signifies hope. Hope to find true love or whatever makes your heart happy. Thanks so much for visiting me today. Please come to my blog and find me on Facebook. Subscribe to my channel if you like me and give me a thumbs up.